I think there are so many underground terrorist infrastructures in northern Gaza that they want to get rid of them before putting our soldiers' lives at risk. That was the deputy mayor of Jerusalem talking about the underground city that Hamas has built underneath the Gaza Strip. It is believed that tunnels were one of the routes used by Hamas fighters to launch their surprise attack on October 7. These tunnels now pose one of the biggest hurdles in Israel's mission to eradicate the Palestinian armed group Hamas. The tunnels began as a network to smuggle goods and weapons from Egypt to Gaza. Later, Egypt destroyed the tunnels on its side, but Hamas expanded the web in Gazan territory. Now the underground maze is used by Hamas to store rockets, ammunition and other weapons. The group's command and control centres are also located inside the tunnels which have electricity connections, ventilation shafts and even basic rail tracks as per some reports. The tunnels are located deep underground and the walls are reinforced with concrete. Their entrances are placed near civilian structures like schools, hospitals, mosques etc. To understand the extent of the tunnel network, here are some numbers. Gaza's area is around 363 square kilometers, but Hamas claims that the tunnels are 500 kilometers long. In comparison, Delhi's area is 1400 square kilometers and the metro rail network is 392 kilometers in length. Mumbai's area is 437 square kilometers and the local train network stretches around 385 kilometers. New York City covers 790 square kilometers and the subway tracks are reportedly around 1,000 kilometers in length. The area of China's Shanghai is 6,200 square kilometers and the metro lines cover 830 kilometers. The tunnels pose a huge challenge for Israeli troops for a number of reasons. The first is that Israel has limited intelligence on the extent, location and routes of the tunnels. Also, traditional GPS, surveillance and night vision technology is useless under the ground. Israel can also use robots to cover the tunnels, but Hamas can easily set up bombs and traps in small spaces. Also, there is a high monetary and human cost to trying to find, destroy and seal all the tunnels, even as Hamas fighters attack Israeli troops. Israel has tried to find the answer in technology, much like the Iron Dome system which protects it from rockets and missiles fired from Gaza. Since 2014, Israel has reportedly spent more than $1 billion in countermeasures. Like the Iron Dome, Israel has worked on the Iron Wall and Iron Spade. The country built an underground wall along the 60-kilometer Gaza border. Two Israeli firms, which had worked on the Iron Dome, developed a tunnel detection system. However, the sensors struggle against turning passages and intersections in the tunnels, according to experts. How effectively Israel is able to render these tunnels useless will decide how successful its latest military operation against Hamas is.